Welcome back to the Ranger playthrough, everyone. Merry Christmas. Today is Christmas, and I'm recording an episode on Christmas. Wow. Believe it or not. Like that book. Ripley. Whatever the fuck his name is. So, people have been asking me, they're like, hey, gamers, you made the end diversified shit. Why don't you make the non diversified shit? Or, <laughs> I don't know why I said non. Why don't you make the arrow diversified shit? So, might as well, right? So, we need. Uh, holy quiver. No, we got the holy quiver. We need chlorophyte quiver. Uh, which should not be a problem at all. We got a good bit of chlorophyte. We can make 3,996 of these. I think that's the magic number all the time. We want to be uh, perfect. Good enough. Wait, no, that's not enough, actually. There we go. Perfect. The exact amount. Make sure we get it from... Uh, from uh, Zoklin. There you go. This is that. So, boom, we got two down. I think it's hippie harpies that are breaking my fucking game. I swear, every time these boys come in, like, it just dies. So, hold up. Hippie. Get those boys out of here. And you know who else we gotta get out of here? Those assholes. Alright. So, there you go. Oh, and also, I'm gonna get rid of. Just get rid of all the elementals while we're at it. There we go. So. We got that done. Now we need Jester Quiver. Jester Quiver. What do Jester arrows look like? We can buy those. That's all I know. Who? The archer is literally right there. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Hey, Richard. How you doing, man? Jester arrows. I'm gonna need a bunch of these. 3,999, to be honest. 996, right? 900... 96. Oh, almost there. Perfect. Look at that. It. It's a fucking utter perfection. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> Jester quiver. Is that not the amount we need? Jester arrow at a crystal ball. What? I guess I tried to. Where did I try to do it? I don't know where I tried to do it. So there you go. That's three. Okay. Next is the Icor. Icor always a uh, easy, easy resource to get when you find, you know, the sweet spot. How do we make these? We just need Icor and wooden arrows, no problem then. Uh, do we have Icor? We have Cursed Flame. I know I have Icor somewhere. There it is. Okay, and then you. Wait, do we have regular arrows just chilling around? Might as well, you know, make them have a good use. We do not have any regular arrows chilling around. Why do we even have all this shit? That's the real question. There's no point in having this shit. You can have that. Alright, uh, regular arrows. 3,000 of them. We'll just, we'll just get like a rough, rough, rough uh, amount. So we don't have to count it up exactly. Where do we make these? Right here? And then we turn this into 3,996. AKA 4,050. That seems to be the magic number. There's the Icor one, and the last one is Luminite, obviously. It is Luminite. Yep, alright, no problem. Luminite, very easy to get for us, because we have so much Luminite from Meteors. We have so much fucking Luminite. So, we got some arrows right here. Those went to the trash. Uh, let's go ahead. Shit, look at that. Ooh, we're like one off. It's all good down to make more because these probably sell for a good good amount the excess we have sell for a good amount boom there's the endless diversified pouch look at that how beautiful do i even have anything that shoots rockets i don't don't have anything that shoots rockets so i'm gonna get rid of that for now and just put stars there might as well all right hold up so in this episode we're gonna be finding a boss from nightmares unleashed true eater whatever you want to call it I'm gonna be finding the Void Marshal from that mod. Now, I have no idea exactly how to summon it. Actually, I do know. But I don't like that. There's so many materials we have to gather to summon. We gotta make Skull Idols. Comes in groups of five. And we need Black Forever, Black Powder, Void, Power Core, and Luminite Fragments. Luminite Fragments. Do we have any of those? We do. Thank God. Thank fucking God we have some of those. I didn't feel like finding the Moonlight. It's not like he's a hard boss anymore, but I'm just lazy. 
So we need Void Power Core, which we get from the Martian Invasion. So we gotta do a bunch of invasions is what is what's popping off right now. So no problem. That should not be tough to do at all. Do you sell invasion shit? I don't think he sells invasion shit. He's not. So we'll go talk to Yuri Mir then. But uh we need pirate stuff. We need Martian stuff. Don't remember the other stuff. But there's definitely other stuff. <laughs> so let's get Martian. Let's get pirate. And let's see how this goes, alright? I'll do my favorite fucking invasion, the Martians. Love these assholes. These guys are always great people. So let's see how fast we can cut through this. So yeah, we need the power core from the Martian saucer itself, I believe. Is that what it's called? Void power core? So we should be able to zoom past this, statistically speaking. We should be good. Maybe if I just use this. Or what, what actual what actual bow uses all the arrows? The crystalline one? <laughs> we got some very hard hitting bows here. Very good at good strong bows. Not enough enemies, man. Where are all the enemies at? Come on. We're trying to get through this. We're trying to get through this. But yeah, we're coming down to the end of the series. I think I'm gonna save all the blue magic boxes for like the last two episodes. That or we'll fight the boss I have planned for next episode. Next episode, and then maybe the episode after that, we'll take on the Spirit of Purity, I think. Is it Purity first, or is it Chaos? I don't know. But we'll take on one of them first. I have confusion on me. We'll take on one of them, maybe like an episode before, before uh, Yarn. And then we'll fight Yarn. Is it Yarn? Yarn? I don't fucking remember his name. Uh, Dragon, Jungle Dragon Boy. But then after that, that will be the finale. And that will be the Spirit of whatever is last. I think it's Chaos that's last. Spirit of Chaos last. So I think uh, Yarn is a pretty good boss. Second second to last episode boss. Ow. Not see you. Not see you kind sir. Look at that. So he doesn't... They don't drop it instantly. The Martian doesn't drop it instantly. That's probably the trouble we're going to have here. And I fought so many fucking UFOs man. I fought so many UFOs on this world. That uh... I didn't get any drops from those UFOs, which surprises me a lot. So let's hope we can get some drops. We got another UFO moving in here. Let's try out our different sets of weapons, because I feel like we can instantly kill them with like our whole entire whole entire weapon set here. There's another one? Alright, let's go ahead and use this rocket. This rocket thing is actually not bad at all. I like it. So maybe I shouldn't even fight. I should just wait for UFOs at this point. So where's my shell at? We just gonna chill, boys. Oh, I did get a new weapon though. What is that? From Thorium? Oh, it's a healer weapon from Thorium. Look at that. How beautiful. This is the last one of this this second invasion. This has to drop it. what I tell you? Oh, shit. Would you look at that? It only took like 30 Martians. We got one. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, 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 oh shit. Alright, so now we're on to the pirate invasion where we need to get a... Uh, what is it? Black fabric? Black powder? I think it might be black powder. Not sure, but pretty much we just need to kill stuff. Like everything. Alright, so we're on our third pirate invasion here. And these things are kind of low-key hard to drop. But, luckily for us, there's some right there that I saw in the distance. Look at that. We got 12. Nice. So, the last event that we need to do is the uh, solar eclipse. So that shouldn't be too bad. Solar Eclipse lasts the whole day, so we're bound to get it from that. Oh shit, I got a corruption key too. That's like, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's my third corruption key on this world? Jesus. All right, so we got 10 black fabric. It's actually not too bad. This is not too bad. I've been hanging up all the banners too while we're at it. This is, this actually didn't take that long. It took like, hold up, let me look at my phone. It took like 30 minutes for all three of the invasions, probably because we're statistically stronger than everyone. Duh. Tell me, I know I made the hemorrhage at some point in time recently. What the fuck was that? I don't know what it was, but we killed it. Yeah, I know I made the hemorrhage at some point in time. Somewhere, there it is. I just made it randomly, and we can actually just, you know, get it. Doesn't this just straight up craft the, uh, that bow I already have, the tarot bow? Yeah, it does. Might as well see what it does, though. 
I just shoots a bunch of arrows. Isn't it life steal too? One being a blood arrow. Now we're good. We don't really need to use that. So I believe we can craft this shit, can't we? I believe we can. Hold up. Got so many fucking armor bracings in here. Get rid of that wild antlion heart. We'll place it with all that. So we should be able to craft it, I believe. Oh, I didn't get rid of the heart. Should be able to craft it. We got five of them. But I think I'm gonna back up the world just in case, because I don't really feel like farming for all that. Where do we do it at? Oh, up here. Duh. I knew that. This boss is probably hard as shit. To be honest. It's post Moon Lord. A lot of stuff you gotta gather to fight it. And it gives you five of the things because it's it's hard to gather all this stuff. And they give you five just in case you die. So I feel like we might have a fairly tough fight here. Not a hard fight. Not like super hard, but fairly tough. This is what I feel like is going to happen. Who the hell are you showing up all, this, all of a sudden? The boy's coming out the cut 24-7. Okay. Let's sell this. People wanted me to test... Where is it? The Kakatar shield on... Uh, on fucking was it dungeon guardian or whatever the hell they're called the skeleton dude when you go into the dungeon too early i'm good i don't really feel like doing that because it means i need to open a new world it wouldn't take me long well, i'm good right now maybe i'll do it towards the end of this episode but uh let's get right to it shall we that's the 50th demon eye uh no i was about to hang it up but fuck it, who cares so let's do oh shit hey we finally got that mount that i've been wanting for the longest time but i never could get this thing is cool as hell. It looks cool as hell. That's really all. It's fast and it's cool as hell. But we got a reindeer, so it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, I'll just rock them anyways. But let's do this. Void Marshal. The, the fucking Post Moon Lord boss in uh, Nightmares Unleashed. I'm down. We gotta talk to this guy, don't we? Sir, where are you? Hey, man. How you doing? You get out here? Please, I'm begging you. I'm terrified. Please help me. No problem. Whoa! What is this? What is this? What the fuck is going on right now? Whoa, I just noticed that I'm almost dead. Come on. Hold up. Hold up. Let me use my good bow. Alright. Is this man dead already? Whew. What a tough fight, am I right? What a tough fight. That actually kind of got scary for a second because I was really low. I know, you want, <laughs> I know you want your own vile spit on you, dude. Alright. Shall we do it again? Let's do it again. Where do you spawn this time? Oh, he's right there. What the fuck? How come I couldn't see him? Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you good, dude? Alright. Let's do this again. I think... <laughs> My weapon's a little bit too tough for this man. Ow, he hits hard as shit though. I won't lie there, he hits hard as hell. Alright, we just gotta give it give it a second. Wait for the man to spawn somewhere. There he is. Alright, let's uh let's try using like a legitimate weapon that won't insta-kill something. Because I think we're at the point where 90% of my weapons insta-kill. So we'll go with uh the deadly clock clockwork bow. Cockwork. Deadly cockwork bow. So we're gonna have to finesse a little bit. We're gonna have to play the finesse game. Whew. That like big cloud he has with him is fucking cool as hell though. So we're gonna keep our distance, you know, just make it rain our new diversified pouch on him. Cause that seems to be doing the work on him. Or be doing the work in general ever since we got it. Same thing with this. Ever since we got the di oh my god, I chunked him. Ever since we got the diversified pouch for uh the musket pouch, I guess she's been doing work too. There you go, we fought him legitimately. As in, didn't insta-kill him. And he did not seem to touch me too often there. So I kept my distance pretty well. Alright, we got a couple more left. I don't know why I always look at it instantly. I give it a second for the dude to spawn. What's going on with my map right now? That's my question. Just walk around a little bit. Maybe he should spawn. He's over there at the left. No problem. I'm pretty pissed off that we got the desecrated heart. Towards the end of the playthrough. When I was looking for it. You know, right when we entered hard mode. But whatever. Dude, this thing is just too good. The Ashfield is just too good. No 
Oh, you got all my weapons are too good right now. I like using all my weapons. They all insta kill. So why not use all of them, right? This thing insta kills. This insta kills. This insta kills. This insta kills. This does a lot of damage in a big area. This I don't know. This kind of insta kills, and at the same time, it, you know, it's just a bow. It's just a bow that shoots like six arrows. Insta kills the weak ass enemies, which is. Like everything's bound to kill weak ass enemies. But uh, let's do this one more time. We got nighttime coming to an end soon, so might as well fight him really quick again. I'm just gonna use more potions. Where is he at? I gotta walk around a little bit. Where the fuck is he? What the hell? He's up there? He's gonna kill all my NPCs. What a dick. Don't kill my NPCs. You're good. Maybe I'll use this bow against this guy. This is my least strong weapon. Alright. I was lying when I said least strong. This thing does work. This thing does work too. I'm really happy with this one. The velocity of the rockets are so fucking good. Okay. So. Alright. I'll give him that. He won that fight. He won that fight. But uh, that's, all the, that's all the fights he's gonna win. So, let's go ahead. We're gonna magnetize everything. So, let's go ahead and see what's in his treasure pack treasure bag uh, i'm very interested okay oh we got a trophy nice so we got, we got a bunch of martial matter Ooh. m m martial matter all right uh increased defense as hp gets over 40 additional defense at zero hp zero additional defense at full health what the fuck aren't you dead when you get full all right <laughs> interesting let's see what these make the uh, martial matters. Black hole execution, void slasher, shadow puncturer, black hole bow, black hole bow, uh, the eye of the void, black hole gauntlet, dark matter staff, martial knives, and shuriken of the black hole. So this is all dope ass shit. Do it all at the mithril anvil. Let's get rid of some stuff here. Hold up. I need to. Uh, fuck. Let's get rid of. What can I get rid of? What's what's one of the easier things I can recollect if I need it again? Probably that. Don't know why that's even there. And then we'll put that in there. So let's go ahead. Let's make a bunch of this stuff. Uh, starting with the range weapons, of course. Why would we not make the range weapons? All right. Didn't it say mithril anvil? No, that's something else that says mithril anvil. All right, shadow puncture, boom. There's that. Black hole bo bow. Why do I have so much trouble saying that? There's that. And then one more weapon. Now we'll craft like... Let's craft all the weapons. Might as well. Or craft all the ones that I can. There's those four. There's that. There's that. Oh yeah, we can craft like all of them. And then might as well, uh, you know, craft another black hole bow. Because mine had a shitty reforge on it. So, uh... <laughs> I'm just gonna switch those. So! Let's go ahead. And see what all these do. Starting with the black hole bow. So let's go up to the dummy. Okay. I like it. It shoots a bunch of arrows. Doesn't do anything else spectacular, but it shoots a bunch of arrows. Shoot the shadow puncture really fast. And it punctures. I bet you guys wouldn't have guessed that one. Alright, let's go on to the melee weapons now. There's two of them. Okay. So this shoots like a little beam out. Okay. Then black hole execution. Okay, it goes through walls, so it's like an upgraded uh, demon scythe or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, we can't show that off really. We do these. Oh, these life steal. Nice. That's dope. It looks like vampire knives, and like I don't know how to explain this. Are these better than vampire knives? You guys tell me. I've used vampire knives forever. Now we just got shurikens. Nice, simple shurikens. And then let's do uh, two magic weapons. Oh. That's really cool. And then we got this. Oh. That's that magic weapon right there. That's the weapon that'll do work as a magic person. Alright, so let's sell all these. Because we're obviously not gonna need these. Uh and then I'll show off the summoner staff. Okay, so we got us a dude that explodes. He grows and then explodes. Okay. Summons an incarnation to fight for you. Let's uh use them down here. So I need you to do work on some enemies. Let's spot some enemies and let's let you do some work right here. 
handle them at homes too. So that's really good. Look at that. That's fucking dope. That's a dope ass summoner weapon. I don't know how these are gonna play into my character. Maybe this? But I don't know about this. But let's go ahead. Let's fight a boss anyways with this stuff. Might as well. Uh let's fight fucking Akatari. Why not, right? Oh shit. Hold up! Fucking up there. Okay, he's not exactly taking damage. You know what he's gonna take damage from though? Boy! I know you want some of this, Kakatar. I know you want some of this. DPS test! The tr he actually beat me, I'll give him that. I'll give him one. Uh Kakatar 1, Game Eaters 2000. So I'm not gonna end the episode just like that. We got some stuff that we need to do. And hopefully I can actually do it. That being Crafting that flamethrower. Wait, the hurt. What? This doesn't go into the flamethrower? Then get it out of here then. Connor the guide. I kind of need a guide up here. But it doesn't matter. So, we're going to craft the flamethrower. The, uh, like, Terra Flame. I don't know what the fuck it's called. No, this is the Terra Flame Buster. We want to make the, uh, Elemental Eruption. So, let's start with getting all four of the flamethrowers. We're going to try and craft it because we need ten of those. Holy shit. So, one, two, three, four. My phone is. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Alright, let us see how many Galactica Singularities we can craft. We got 7 Vortex Fragments. Uh, 26 Solar Fragments. We never have Nebula Fragments, apparently. This is just... That's just something we don't have. What the fuck are my Nebula Fragments? Why do I never have any? Didn't I... No, I don't know why I even looked at the map. Like, there was going to be some useful information there. Fuck me. Yeah, we can't really do much... These uh, Galactica Singularities ain't the easiest shit to craft, dude. I guess we're doing it in the next episode then. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let's go hang up this trophy at least. Void Marshall Trophy. I don't know what the fuck it's supposed to be. But I'll hang this bitch up anyways. Don't know where I can hang it up. I'll hang it up in one of your houses. Ooh, my boy's going up those stairs and he stopped. There we go. Nice and beautiful... Wow, it looks like, uh, I don't know what the fuck it looks like.